Hello there, Mark Cunningham here. And in this video, we're going to learn how to process a payroll expense reimbursement, and then how to reconcile the transaction in our accounts using an expense claim. So we're going to process an expense reimbursement through payroll first, and then we're going to reconcile it with an expense claim that the employee would have put in the system. So we're going to use the accounts already set up in the demo company to save some time. So they will be the other reimbursable costs pay item, the 850 suspense liability account and 433 insurance expense account. If you'd like to learn how to set up zero so you can use different pay items, liability accounts or expense accounts, then see our separate video on how to set up reimbursement pay items. Okay, so let's jump into zero now and see how this is done. Okay, over in a freshly reset version of the Australian Demo Company, first we'll just go to Settings and Payroll Settings, and then Pay Items and Reimbursements. Okay, so the pay item that we're going to use is this other reimbursable costs that's already set up, and it's going to go to the suspense account there. So the first thing we need to do is actually just change a setting on that expense account. So we'll duplicate the screen and we'll go to accounting and chart of accounts. And we'll just scroll down till we get to that 850 account, which is here. Okay. So this is just a, a general suspense account, um, which is a current liability. It's got a, a description here that shows that it's for unknown transactions, but we can just ignore that and use this anyway. So what we need to do in here is just make sure it's a current liability and that we've got this checkbox ticked here, enable payments to this account. So if you don't have that ticked, then you won't be able to follow through this process. So just whatever liability account you're using, make sure that you've got that ticked and then just click on save. Okay. And then we're done with that. Okay, so next let's go and do a pay run. So we'll just duplicate the screen. And we'll just go into this draft pay run and into LeBron's pay template. Okay, so we're just going to add the reimbursement down here. So we've just got add reimbursement line here. Okay, so we're using the other reimbursable costs pay item, which was that one over here. And we just need to put in a description. Okay. So I'm just saying that it's for travel insurance costs that have been paid for by LeBron and it's going to go to that 850 liability account that we saw before. All right. So we'll click on okay. And then we'll just put the amount in. So just make sure you put the amount in inclusive of GST. Okay. So I've got $110 in there. So that's a hundred dollars plus $10 GST. And then we'll just actually just save his pay template. And then we'll go and post the pay run. Okay. So that's posted. Let's now have a look at what happens. So if we go to the pay run journal, all right, we can see the reimbursements, 850 suspense, $110 debit. So that's posted a debit there and that's what we want. So I'll just duplicate this screen and we'll have a look at in an account transactions report. Let's move that over here and we'll go to accounting and account transactions. Okay. We want to find 850. Okay. There it is there. Payroll expenses, reimbursements, 110 debit. We've also got this $50 credit here, but that's for something. Uh, different that's for a deduction so we can just ignore that we're not looking at that in this lesson okay so that's one side of the transaction done so what we need to do now is do the other side of the transaction so we're not actually paying for this expense through our normal bank account we're paying lebron back for it because he's already paid for it so the way we're going to get the credit into here is lebron's going to put in an expense claim and we're going to check that off as being paid. So what we'll do is we'll just duplicate the screen and we'll go into expense claims. Okay. And we're just going to put an expense claim in. So 
I'm going to do it here just as the admin, which you can do on behalf of your employees, or they can put the expense claims in um, themselves. Either way, it ends up in the system the same way. So we'll just go to new expense and expense claim. Okay, so we just need to put the amount in first. So that's the 110 there. Put in a description. Okay, so I've just said reimburse LeBron for travel insurance. Um, how did you pay? So we can just say personal money. And where did they spend it? So just put down the name of the vendor um, that they spent the money at. Okay, so I've just made one up there, BlackRock Insurance. Put in the date. So I'll just assume that he spent it on the 1st of April. So for the account, we want to use the insurance expense account, which is that one. And this other stuff down here we don't need. So that's just for some tracking the region um, assigned to customer and label. Okay, so you got uh, 110 including tax down there. There you go. So once that's in, we can just um, either save it as a draft, submit it or approve it. So we'll just go ahead and approve it. Okay, so now we've got it um, in there. So I've got to pay over here. All right, so what we can do now is we can actually just pay for this because technically we have already paid for it. We've paid for it through payroll. So we just need to basically mark it as paid. So let's just click on the pay button. And that takes us over to the bill that the system created for this expense claim. And you can see it's all in there, the same as I typed it in there. Um, for that from, um, you would have actually chosen LeBron um, as, as from, but I just chose me in there. Um, so for the purposes of this exercise, don't worry about that. But if you're doing it for your staff, you can actually put that in as LeBron. Now, down here, we need to make a payment for this bill for the full amount. So the date that we'll pick is the 15th of April, and that's going to be, uh, where's our pay run? Over here. So we did pay um, LeBron on the 15th of April, according to this pay run. So we can put that in as the date. And paid from, we choose that 850 suspense account. That's where we're paying it from. We're not paying it from a bank account. We're paying it from the suspense account. And that's why over here, we actually had to check that box there. So if we didn't check that box, we wouldn't be able to use that um, account over here for paid from. So you can put in a reference as well. You probably should put in a reference, but I won't do it here just to speed things up. And we'll click on add payment. Okay, so if I go to paid, and this is the one here, which obviously should say LeBron, um, that, but that's paid for 110, including GST. And then if I go back to expenses, I might need just need to refresh this screen. So that's no longer in the to pay tab. I'll just go to all. Okay, and we can see that there as being paid. So that's paid now. So now if I come over to account transactions and click on update, we can see that credit has come through now via expense claims. So we've got the credit 110, we've got the debit 110. So in our suspense liability account, this is now fully reconciled. Um, and so if, if it wasn't for that $50 there, this balance would come back to nil. So that would be perfect. All right, so just one other thing, I'll just duplicate this screen again. And this time we'll just deselect all that and we'll find the insurance account, which is actually just there and update. Okay. So now we can see in our insurance expense account, we've got a debit that's come through via expense claims for $100, which is the um, amount minus GST. And that's going to come through to the profit and loss report as an expense as it should. So the company has paid for that. Um, so it should show up on the P&L as an expense, but we just haven't done it out of the bank account. We've done it via an expense claim and via a payroll reimbursement. Okay, so that's how your employees can be reimbursed for a cost via payroll and how you can put through an expense claim to 
net it off in your accounts and get everything into the right place.